Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to getting started with touch GFX and make an LED turn off and on using toggle button. Open touch GFX. From this menu, create a new project. The discovery board that I'm going to use in this project is STM32F746. Select it and give your project a name. Let's say LED and create. Here is the Canva that we are going to design our project. You can add button, button with label, toggle buttons, radio buttons, and custom image, container, scrollable containers, and any other components. Let's create a very simple background with image. Go to image, scalable image, and resize the widget in order to cover the entire screen. The screen size is 480 by 272. Now let's create our custom background. I'm gonna use paint. Okay, go to resize and from the pixel select and type 480 by 272. You can create every color, every shape, or anything you want here. I'm just create a very simple background. Okay, just save as PNG. Now upload the image. Press this plus button. Here you can see the design that we have done in paint uploaded in our Canva and now we are going to test it in our discovery board. From here, press run simulator in order to simulate our design. Here is the design that is gonna be in our discovery board. Now let's program and see the design in our discovery board. Here you can see that our design has been programmed into the board successfully. If you faced any error when you program the board using this button, you should probably install ST Utility and STM32 Q Programmer. Okay, now I'm gonna create a button using button with label. I'm gonna change the text to next. From these properties, you can change anything you want. This is for changing the color, the design itself, that the corners can be rectangular or round type. Let me choose this one. This selection is when you release the button. So we are gonna choose what happened when we press this button. So the color is gonna be changed. When you got this error, it means that size of these two types should be the same. Now let's choose the same type. Yeah, now it works fine. From this menu, you can choose the text color. Here is the released color, which blue works fine here. And with cyan, you can select, let's say purple. Let's check for the design.
here you can see that the release color is orange with the text blue and when I press change color to cyan and the text color goes purple. Now I'm going to show you the transition between multiple pages. Just create another screen. Let's create another simple background. And select scalable image. And upload the image. Okay, now I'm going to put another button here. Change the text to back. And now I'm going to create an interaction. When we press this button, it will switch to the previous screen. From the interaction menu, add interaction. From the trigger, choose button is click. And here you are going to select the clicked source. In our case, we have just a single button. So we have just single option. And now we are going to select the action. When we press the button, what's going to happen? It's going to change the screen to the previous one. And from this menu, you can choose the transition. Let me choose slide. And the transition direction would be west, which goes in this direction. Okay, now we are going to do the same for screen one. Go to interaction, add interaction. Change screen to the next one and transition is slide. Now run the simulator. When I press next, it goes to other screen. And when I press back, it goes to the previous one. Now I'm going to create a toggle button here in order to switch the LED to on or off. In order to do that, go to the interaction, create another. From the trigger, select button is clicked. From this menu, we are going to have two options, which the first one is the interaction for this. And the next one is for toggle. Now we are going to choose toggle. And the action would be new virtual function, which we are going to embed it to our project. Choose this one, give it a name. Let's say LED state. And we are done. Now let's generate the code. This would give us a generated project containing all the sources based on stm 32 cube IDE. The generated code has been done successfully. Let's open project in stm 32 cube IDE. Here you can see the destination folder. From this folder go to stm 32 cube IDE and open the C project. The project is now open and now we are going to check for the sources. Go to application, user, core. Here you can see the main file. The generated files. And the UI. Let's check for the project pinouts. Select the IOC file. Here you can see that the connections, which contains multiple GPIOs and other connections as well. Now in order to make the LED on or off, we need a single GPIO which is not in use here. So we are going to check for the connections of the discovery board.
can see the section called Arduino Uno connectors. Let's say we are gonna connect the LED to RD4, which is connected to the G7. Now we are gonna choose the function of this pin as GPIO. Let's locate this pin in the board and make the LED connection. Here you see that the Arduino pins are available in these connectors. Starts with D0 up to D15. I'm gonna use D4 and a pin from ground. An LED is connected here. The negative pin goes to GND and the positive one with a series resistor is gonna connect to the D4. The ground is connected to ground and the positive pin from the LED is connected to D4. The G7 is here. Just press and choose GPIO output. As you see, we now have G7 as output push pull. Now let's give it a user label. Let's say LED green. Do now save this project in order to generate the code. As you see, the GPIO pin configuration has been done. Now, in order to link the user interface with pins, go to UI, select screen one view CPP and screen one base. Here you can see that when we press the toggle button, calls this function. So we are going to define it, copy this function and go to screen one view, press control, click. And here we are going to define it as virtual function. And come back to cream one view. Now we are going to fill the function. Now we are going to check for the state of toggle button and make the LED on or off. If it is on, we are going to turn on the LED. So it all GPIO bright. And when the state is off, we are going to turn off the LED. As we use all functions, we should include the related library here. Here's the library that we are looking for. Save this file and run. When the uploading is done, you can see that the final design is here. You can press next, which goes to the next screen. When you press back, it goes to the previous one. And the toggle button works fine. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please don't forget to like, share, and comment below. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.